my wife had shared something very powerfully on social media some time ago, and it boiled to it boils down to this. And you can use this for your for your children. You can use this in the context of staff. You can use this in the context of people that you empower beside you. And it it, it says this that the the best way to train people in the ways of the Lord is to actually go that way yourself. The best way to train others in the ways of the Lord is for you to actually go that way yourself. Last week I was exceptionally blessed. What happened was God had shared this little note regarding just the power of example. Because I don't know about you, but, but sometimes it's tough to bring correction over to people because, I mean, you want everyone to get along and <laughs> you want things to be peaceful and, and so forth. So sometimes it's a bit tough to bring correction across, but yet it's necessary, right? We can't, uh, what's the right words to use? We can't um, move away from correction. People need correction. People need rebuke. People need to be disciplined because the Lord disciplines those whom he loves and we carry his image and, and his likeness. But sometimes it's tough, but God had shared something really uh, liberating with me. And the thought is this, that when you set the example first, it is easier to bring about the correction. So if you are actually going that way, it is easier for you to bring the correction across. It is easier for you to bring the rebuke across because they can't be like, but you don't do what you say I must do, right? It's like, for example, if, if you want... A common example that we usually use is uh, parents maybe want their children to read more. So they say, uh, But then Buddha replies and, or Sisa replies and says, But I've never seen you read a book. Right? So that's the, the whole thing. But if you know that you are a reader, it's easier to be like, I would encourage you to maybe read some books. Right? Because there's actually fruit on, on your particular particular tree. This is why I believe a lot of times people do get hurt and it's not the right, it's not an excuse, but a lot of people get hurt inside of church specifically because they, they look at people and the people don't maybe necessarily bear any fruit. And then they're like, ah, but this is hypocrites inside this church. Right? But I heard a great example to kind of counter that excuse over there, which is uh, people say that they don't, they, they, they're not going to go to church because there's hypocrites in the church. That's like saying you're not going to go to gym because there's overweight people in the gym. Right? Everyone's on a journey. Everyone is busy growing and our faith needs to be not in people. It needs to be in Christ Jesus. We go there so we can be developed so that we can be a greater blessing to others moving forward. So the best way to train others in the ways of the Lord is to actually go that way yourself. Which leads to these verses here. So Paul's writing to Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 1 says, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God in keeping with the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my dear son. I mean, just the way he's addressing this guy is incredible, right? He's, he sees him as a son. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. Thanksgiving. I thank God whom I serve as my ancestors did with a clear conscience as night and day, I constantly remember you in my prayers. I constantly remember you in my prayers. I think there's a vital point over there. And the point is simply this, that we as people cannot, in circle cannot, we cannot change people. We, we cannot do that. We are not God. We are not the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit's duty to convict folks of, of, of sin, right? So that hopefully they would come into repentance. But one thing we can do, however, is to recall people in our prayers and to bring people in our lives that maybe just maybe are causing a bit of havoc, a bit of drama, a bit of issues, all right? Or maybe they are just going through stuff and you just feel a compassion for them, right? But to bring those people before the Lord, 